It's hard to imagine Christmas in America without Carol of the Bells. What I think of when I'm singing this song is snow is falling and you hear church bells in the background and you hear the church bells, you know, coming and going like, like on a Sunday morning, but it's snowing and there's a sleigh ride. And it's so funny how this piece has ingrained itself into the American kind of collective mind. It's mesmerizing just simply because the, rep the rapidity of the soprano line, dum da dum bum da dum dum da dum and that, that it keeps driving and then adding parts to it, people are actually able to, to understand it and to grasp it. I, I love it. Carol of the Bells was an ancient pre-Christian Ukrainian folk song about the coming of spring and wishes for a plentiful year. In 1916, a Ukrainian composer named Mykola Leontovich wrote music to it. Leontovich's piece arrived in America in 1921 and was performed at Carnegie Hall. Peter Vilholsky, a choir director and composer of Ukrainian origin, was at that performance. The song reminded him of bells. Inspired, he wrote the lyrics, which he copyrighted in 1936. By the late 1930s, Carol of the Bells, also known as the Ukrainian Bell Carol, grew to be connected with the Christmas holiday season, reflecting the joy so many feel at this time of year. But some of my family, like five or six generations ago, came from, from the Kiev area and um, Jewish, so actually singing Christmas songs um, has always been something that's a little bit funny for me, but I've been singing in choirs in school my whole life pretty much, so I've been singing Christmas songs and I appreciate that this is one that is, um, it's not particularly religious, so it appeals to me. I think one of the reasons it works well in America now is because it's well suited for like a consumer age where like it doesn't have a lot of religious imagery in it, so it's, at least the English lyrics don't have a lot of religious imagery in them, so they, um, so it can't offend anybody really. The carol's melody is not technically complicated, which allows for interpretation. Originally a folk chant, it has been arranged as classical, jazz, metal, country music, rock, and pop, featured in films, TV shows, and commercials. Steve Barragona for producers Maria Pruce and Dmitry Savchuk, VOA News.